Okay. Motor up test. Yeah, motor up test. And this has some. Yeah, it's still trying to bind. The problem we had is, I don't know. That push button or bind? It's plug? a push button and it's got the bind plug, but the problem is, is that. I'm gonna have to put this in a different. It's got a Y connector for auxiliary back, and there's really not a lot of instructions on it. The six channel receiver, it only goes in one way. This, I'm just gonna put on one of the other channels just for the back. Yeah, see it's, it, kind of, it tries to go into bind mode every time. These have any? I don't even know if this plane's ever been flown. I don't think so. I just look way too clean. Yeah, I've got to put on her. There's flaps. So I've programmed it already. Wow, that's, that's a lot of flap. Is that per the book? That's per the book. So if I go in, the flap mixing per the book, 120 and negative 50. So the negative 50. This is it. That is a lot of flap. So I think I'm going to go and I'm going to take it and move it up to about negative 20. That's still pretty. Now here's, so that's landing. So we're at negative 20 and then positive 20 and 100%. I think that's a lot of flaps right there. I'll, I'll keep the extreme flaps, but negative 50 just seemed like a lot. Which the first setting? First setting is 100%, which is zero. Yeah, right. The Second. next one is 20% positive yeah. on this, on the number parameters, and then negative 20. Gotcha. All right. So, and these are reversed. This would be, yeah, that's reverse too. Huh, that's strange. I'm just looking at it. Like, like, I, like I said, I don't have the control run on it yet, but it looks like the elevator is reversed. Rudder's correct. So if I go in the elevator now, so pushing it should make it go up. Yep, so it's up, down, yep. And then pulling it will make it go down. Yep. Yep, so that's correct. I just gotta get those control rods on there. You gonna spin up the motor? Oh. I got it. Jesus. <laughs> Think it's got enough power? I was not expecting that. <laughs> this thing has a ton of power. I'll say that much. Now, let's see. I'm gonna just kind of put the transmitter here for a second. Actually, you know what I'm gonna do? Okay. Throttle, throttle kills on. I just want to see how this AS3 or the safe. No safe. Yeah, I don't have it necessarily on right now. Just AS3X. And is it stabilizing? It won't on AS3X until you get up above 20% throttle. I think since I got this. No, I gotta put two control rods on. We're just testing stuff right now. Okay. So there's no. And I haven't really gone in there and taken care of any adjustments at all. So put the gear. A lot of people take those little doors, these two little doors out. No, I don't think they should. Yeah, I like it. I'm just going to leave it this way. And then the rear, this is really neat that it's got the rear retract on it. Yep. Now, 
Now supposedly there is an update for the names for the retracts. I haven't read a lot into it, so I'm not sure exactly what it is. We'll just gonna keep it the way it is for now. And I don't have, you can see how much aileron, that's literally just no changes in settings. That's I'd probably go up, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna 100%. go up. That's 100%. That's 100%. So I'm gonna go up to 125. It might be pushing the limit of the servo Yeah, there's, there's the possibility. Yeah, you can see. Yeah, it's pushing the it's, limit. Yeah. Now, I could probably go down a couple of holes on that. Yeah. I don't think you need that. Now, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave that, and I'll look at the elevator and stuff and see. I'm probably going to, I'll I'll put some uh, Expo in there and get an, at least one more rate. So I got a little bit less depending on how twitchy this thing is going to be at full throttle. I don't know what it's going to do. All right, I'm going to turn it off and then so it looks like put the gear down. Right it looks like it's fine. We'll put the uh, control rods on the back. Make sure those are working. All right. And go for it. Again, this is the eight channel AS3X safe receiver. I put in there instead of the uh, six channel just because I there was a deal on it, so I don't have anything set up right now. Extremely strange. All right, I'm gonna disconnect real quick. Why are you coming loose or something? I don't think so. There's really nothing to come loose there. Is the thing. Nothing on the oh receiver. Oh, what the heck? The throttle pulled out. Huh. That's no S bueno. That's why it was beeping at me like that. Because yep. I was pulling on stuff. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to hot glue all that together later. You know what it was? While I was pushing all the battery stuff forward, it yep. shifted all the wires that direction. That's exactly what it was. Mental note. <laughs> Good to have a second pair of eyes. So, hold on to this. Yeah, it's just like, there's so much wiring in here. Yep, see, it's pulling out. Yep. Huh. It's definitely strange, it's getting caught on stuff. It's the back wire, here's the throttle. It's strange that it's pulling out in there. I need to do is make sure 
this wire is all underneath that track. So it's not getting caught on anything. So I'm gonna hold on to this wire. This rod, just something I'm gonna have to Okay, I may route these differently. I may route them up and over and around. Yeah, see it's, see it's just getting caught on stuff. All this wiring underneath. Here, wait, 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 wait. There, yep. All right, so we're, now shove it forward. Oh, it's, it's locked in. Locked. Yep, all right, we're good. So I'm gonna do something about that. I'll probably put some hot glue on that or put something over that so it doesn't get in the way. It was binding, it just wasn't receiving yeah. the signal to the ESC. There it goes. Oh, that sounds better. Okay, I'm up. Spool it up once, right? Got it. I think it's definitely. See what kind of telemetry this is. Here. All right, G Force, ESC, Smart Battery, Vario, Altitude, Gyroscope. Well, not all those are going to be working. It's not a smart battery. An ESC. Bolts into the ESC. That's coming from the back that goes in there, probably. Smart battery. Yeah, so it's showing. Okay, so it's going to tell me the alarms and stuff. So we got it inhibited right now. I'll work on that later. It's not a smart battery that's in it right now, per se, but. Alright, so nothing else is going to move. I'll worry about all the safe. Right now, everything on this, on this safe receiver is off. It's kind of hitting stuff. I think it's hitting this. Or it's these large plugs. Yeah, that battery was flipped the other way. Wires would be down. Yeah, definitely. Quick check. These are all high rates. Medium. Now with two different rates on the ailerons. Elevator. I'm gonna go off in mid rates on the elevator. And high rates on the ailerons are not too bad. I'll slow it down as soon as I get it airborne. So left, right, up, down, right aileron, left aileron. Of course, position of flaps, second position again. It wanted a negative 50. This is negative 20. That's positive 20 and then zero. So it may be the differences in, that's gonna pop. It didn't say anything about elevator on this at all. Elevator flat mix? Yeah. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna fly without and then I'm gonna see what it does when I hit the flaps. I probably will not take off the flaps because I don't want it to do anything weird. Yeah. I'll just take off and then Go. All right. Pilot Matt, maiden flight of the E Flight P51. Mid on elevator, high on aileron. I have no rates on the rudder. Just got a taxi for a Pulling a little bit too high. But... You want to do a range check or? Yeah, I can do that. Sensitive. Which way are you going to take off?
What are you doing? I'm changing. I'm going to give myself some rates on the rudder because that rudder is very touchy. Really sensitive. Oh my goodness. <laughs> This is the low rate on the rudder. That tail is just, I mean, that's not too bad. That's better. Now I know where I uh... Alright, so low rate on rudder. Mid on elevator, high on aileron. Really no wind I can feel. Maybe a little slight breeze on my back, but... It's coming out of... Timer down to three minutes. It's just a quick shake down of this thing. All right. Ooh. Jeez, I lost it already. How is it, man? I don't know how good this is going to come out, Matt, because I can't, I can't I'll see do it. A, I'll do a little pass here. Do a full flap. Remember, I'm under power now. I'll slow it down a little bit. All right, it's not not really doing anything horrible. Can you do one more pass yeah. like that with the flaps down? Yeah, do a stall. Okay, full elevator. That's uh, good, got a little tippy. So it did kind of. Oh, I'm going to hit that. I'm going to shoot a couple of approaches because that's what it's going to be all about. So it'll be your first setting of flat. I came in at speed. I'm not. Man, it wants to go left real bad. So I'm gonna slow it down. 
both laps. Bouncing up, so it's when I'm going slow, I have a response, but it, when it bounces, can you just give me a prop spin, just a very low? Good job, man. It's, it's, a, it's a mild handful. I mean, it's not... Now, remember, no AS3X, no safe on. I do have the AS3X 8-channel receiver. Everything's off. I updated the firmware on it, so I'm probably going to go back in, update it, make sure it's updated properly, go through, and probably set up some different modes on it. But right now, there are no modes. It's just an 8-channel receiver. I'd have to, we'll have to go back on the video to see exactly what the flight time on that was. But again, this is a 6,000. Let's see where we're at here. 88%, 243. So, I mean, that was only, it's probably at least a couple of minutes of flying. Yeah. To about 88%. So, I'm going to go, I'm going to do another couple of passes here. Takeoff's a little, uh. Squirrely? Yeah. I think I'm just going to. Start on the right side of the field and it's gonna work out the sun comes out. Yeah, that's gonna be a yeah, killer. This is high rates on aileron, which are comfortable for me. Mid rate on elevator, I've got just a little touch more elevator I can put in. And this rudder, I've got it, I got it down to 50% rates, 50% of what it was recommended. I might do one click, one. The first set of uh, laps. Laps. And just kind of just go, but it it wants to take off on me. Yeah. Ready? Yeah, it's definitely want to go. I think I missed that one, Matt. Sorry. No, that's all right. Want to do it? Want to do it one more time? Ah, it's so hard to see.
Again, there, I think there's differences between ESCs. That, that six channels in there was programmed by them and set up. So I think there's a different receiver, so it's not going to be the same. But I didn't put any elevator, no down elevator. So I'm hitting, I think the one thing also is I got a two second delay, which is recommended on the flaps. So that it's not hitting really fast and popping the nose up. Um, seems to be stable. I'm not, I had that one where half throttle full elevator it went up and, and snapped on me but i'd expect that out of any big plane any big plane is going to do that uh, i'll mess around with some more stuff on it but i think once i get the safe set up i'll have it on and off for you know just to try it but i like it nice flight definitely land on two wheels though 